I need to uh, do some work on a security camera now for the subway scene. So let's do that. Let's bring it a cube. And um, okay, we'll scale it down a little bit. We'll scale it in the Y. And get the overall shape of this thing. Okay, in edge selection, I'm going to grab all of these edges here. Control B do this and then I'm going to roll my mouse up make it nice and smooth let's take the ends there and delete them and take this and E and Alt S and let's, uh, let's see a little pull down to give this thing some thickness like that and then we'll come in and we'll grab the edges here control B and we'll bevel them as well Okay, so that's the main sort of body of the thing. And uh, then what we're going to do is we will not do that. <laughs> Select this thing, set the origin of geometry. Okay, let's grab uh, any of these edges. So shift S, cursor to select it. Bring our 3D cursor there and then shift A mesh. Plane, bring it a plane, rotate X90. Actually, before we go any further, let's turn on the screencast keys. Sorry about that. Scale that down, and I'm going to right-click and subdivide a few times. I want to make a circle right in the middle. I think I'm going to subdivide one more time. And... Um, Go in face selection and C, and we'll do that, and then we'll go control plus and come out. And let's see how many times can I come out and leave myself enough room for a very small hole there. And that's good enough right there. I'm gonna come to there, you know, inset, I think, and I'm going to do to a circle, come in a bit. I'm gonna delete those faces and try a subdivision surface there. I'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, and uh, then what I'll do is I don't really need any much thickness, so I'm just going to select that, extrude in. I'll bring myself an edge above here, and then I'm just going to do something real simple. like that I mean not so sharp okay let's scale that in uh, I'll right click and convert that to a circle as well let's see if I can pull that in Okay, my 3D cursor is still right there, so now I'm going to bring in a uh, UV sphere. Not that. Now I'm going to bring in a UV sphere. I'll go for like 12 and 10 or something like that. And uh, let's see. Let's rotate X90. Let's scale it. And wireframe, I will. Get rid of those, scale in the Y, and scale it again, start pulling it back in. Start getting it positioned, and then we'll try just one subdivision. Now all of this is actually going to come back to about there. And um, yeah. Now I'm 
gonna scale those in. Well, maybe I won't take that point there. And I'm finding this a little deep. And so I might, let's see if I can get that. Let's just turn that off for a moment. And let's deselect those and try pulling. No, that's not enough, is it? We will come out. And pull it out to there. Pull this out. And let's see what we got going on at the front here. We could use those. Let's inset. Let's convert that to a circle. Let's inset again. And um, let's actually just delete those faces. What I really could be doing is taking those points, scale them in Z to make it a bit more circular. surface on I turned it off um, I think for this I can just fill it up all right what's going on here If need be, I could take that point and come out a bunch, and I could slide it up like this. It's a flat surface, so that should be okay, you know, if I wanted to do that. It's not very noticeable. Um, maybe I'll come in a bit further, I don't know. And then I could put an edge loop in here. Okay. All right. So there's the start. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the back and select an edge there. Shift S. Cursor selected. I'm going to bring another plane in there. Rotate X90 and scale it. And uh, do this. Do a similar kind of thing. Subdivide, subdivide. I'll subdivide one more. And then we will take, I'm gonna make like a, a, a plug at the back there. A, you know, a opening, a hole, a connection. Inset, circle. Set. How big is that? It's pretty big. Let's come out again and let's scale that in. And control minus. And then what we'll do is um, let's just start coming out. Let's delete all that stuff there. Did I come out straight? No, can't see you. take this and uh, focus on that and uh, shift H okay we're all right we are okay um, let's E and S come in and then E come out and then do this E and S I'll do that and I'm just gonna send it back in I think and then uh, bevel some of these edges here with uh, just one and I'm going to put some subdivision surface on that anyhow so I'll have, have that kind of thing so let's, let's look at that so this is going to come in as well like that 
quite a big <laughs> plug like thing. I mean, we can make that a bit smaller. Let's see if I can. Um, let's see how to do this. Uh, there we go. No, I'll just control minus. I'll come to there and uh, let's scale shift Y. Now we're going to go with that. Okay. So let's uh, look from the back. Uh, not that way. Okay, let's uh, take this and this. And um, this uh, this thing and this thing. Shift H. Now we'll look from the back. Go into uh, edit mode of this guy. Number one. And let's see. Take that. Take all these points. Uh, well, actually, the whole thing, right? The whole thing's got to get scaled down. Maybe I can scale the whole thing in. It's at least like that. And then take these and we'll scale them in. Well, that makes that whole thing smaller, too. Cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now what we'll do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select that Shift D and P to break it out. So I have just that. And let's look from the side. And I'm gonna put an edge loop there and an edge loop there. I'm gonna look from the front and wireframe and I'm gonna delete that. I think I'll put an edge loop there. Nah, I'm not sure if I'm going to mirror this or not. Let's put a bunch of edge loops here. And look from the side. And what I was thinking of doing was just... Uh, maybe... Maybe... Taking those faces there and just deleting them. Now this is going to have subdivision surface, so let's start that. Like that. And then maybe... What if I just delete those? Is that a neat enough structure for like a top? I think it might be. And then let's take this and E and Alt S. Now let's pull out. Let's see how that works. Take it and scale it a bit. Take this in the camera body. Look just at that down. Let's take this stuff and see what it's like if it overlaps. I think that's probably what we're going to go for. And I think I'm going to do the same at the back. It's still a little bit of an overhang. Maybe this one can come forward a bit more. Bring everything else back. So I would have that, and then... I just want to have a look at this. I'm going to pull it on both sides. All right. And then I'm going to take this edge and control B and pull. I'm going to give myself a little crease, E and Alt S, and I'm going to push. And then bring an edge loop in here and an edge loop in here. Now give me that. I'm going to do a similar thing on here. Put an edge loop, bring it close to the front. Maybe around there. 
control V, pull, it doesn't have to be the same size. E and Alt S, push, and bring in these edge loops. So, yeah, hopefully that looks okay. So that sort of matches the theme of these. I was thinking of taking those shifty and bringing them over. And we'll see. Let's hide that. <clears throat> we can get these to work on here as well. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that would be the general idea. Let's take all of this stuff. Move it to a collection. Let's call this security. security camera so now mm, it'd be kind of cool on here I might have a couple of them actually maybe up, up here I'm probably gonna move that there's more to do underneath here the uh, attachment UV sphere I'll use the same values select the central vertex Control plus, control plus a couple times, delete those, not that many, control minus, delete just those. Take this, E, I'm going to bring it up, E and S, come out, E, this is really simple again. Throw in a couple of edge loops. And then um, what I'm going to 
to do is I am going to come in here and I'm going to take this control plus come up and we'll grab this shifty and take this out. Is this what I want to do? Rotate X90. an easy way to get one in there. This one's going to be real simple. So I'm going to take this control L and P to break it in and select it and shift H to look at that and then I'm going to shift alt and click uh, those faces and I'm going to scale shift Y and make it I want it thicker and I'm going to scale that in and the idea is simply that this which is going to be part of the the camera and this would interact like this let's, go, let's see and sort of pivot on that thing you know and I know it's not perfect but you know something like this and I'll, I'll rotate this so that it's it fits a little bit better and then, um, just on that, I'll just select something that's kind of symmetrical and bring the cursor there. And uh, in fact, I can just take one of these circles, shift D, P to break it out, scale it down, select it and scale it down, and just move it here. I don't know that I'm going to use a subdivision surface on this, but I might. And just go E and uh, come out. E and S, like that. Um, e, uh, come out a bit more. E and S, and we'll do grid fill. that would hold it maybe I'll make this uh, no cursors right there so we'll set the origin of the 3d cursor shifty rotate y 180 the two of them shifty rotate y 90 and just do like that bring everything else back okay we're getting there maybe this could be thicker so taller whatever the word is So let's, I want to put this and uh, all of these in that camera 
collection. We're getting there, but we're not done yet. Okay. Okay. Now, that might be a little bit big for what I want. So, I'm just going to scale it like this. probably do multiples um, I'm gonna need a cable as well these pieces I may push backwards to give me more room for the camera to have the cable coming out of the back Let me attach like that. Do I need to make this wider? Would that look better? Scale shift Z, uh, nope. Scale shift Z. Look more substantial. I'm just gonna see under there.